Hi everyone. Now we are discussing the purchase requisition release procedure. Without currency value. Here we use only two characteristics. Plant and purchase group. Start our configuration with the communication structure. CBN. Go to transaction code SE11. Enter the database table name CBAN and click display. Select the purchasing group and plant. Copy the field name in the component column. Now go to SAP Easy Access menu. Select the cross application folder. Go to the classification system. Folder. Click the master data. Here characteristics and classes creation transaction codes are available. Another method is also available. Go to SPRO. Materials Management. Here select the purchasing. Go to purchase requisition. And select the release procedure with the classification. Here we can create the characteristics and classes. Execute the edit characteristics. Here fill in the purchase group characteristics name, and go to the additional data tab. Enter the table name C. BAN. And field name EKGRP. Continue with the ABAP dictionary message. Come back to the basic data tab the system automatically, filled in the character, status, and everything. Now select the value assignment. If you select multiple values, the same release strategy we can use multiple scenarios. Go to the Values tab here, enter the purchasing group codes. Finally, go to the Restrictions tab here, and enter the class type. Now save this characteristic. In the same way, we have to create plant characteristics. Fill in the name. And go to the additional tab and enter the table name CBAN and field name WERKS. Continue with the ABAP dictionary message. Come back to the basic data tab the system automatically, filled in the character, status, and everything. Now select the value assignment. If you select multiple values, the same release strategy we can use multiple plants. Go to the values tab here, enter the plant code. Finally, go to the restrictions tab here and enter the class type. Now save this characteristic. Now, assign these two characteristics to one class. Transaction code CL02. Give the class name type and create. Fill in the description. Now go to the characteristic tab and enter the two characteristics names and save the details. Come back and select the setup procedure with the classification. Execute and select the release group. Here give the release group code name and class name also description.
Here and check the overall release indicator. It is very important. Because now we configure the item level release procedure. Go to Release Code. Select New Entries here, and give the release code combined with the release group. Here I am using a three-level approval matrix, like Manager, Assistant General Manager, and General Manager. Come back and select the release indicator. Here select the release ID. Now we can assign the changeability of purchasing document during or after the release, based on our requirements. Here I am choosing, number one, cannot be changed. Save and come back. Now, select Release Strategies, go to New Entries, here give Release Group Code G1 Release Strategy Code S1. Now enter the release codes one by one as per our hierarchy. Maximum eight release codes possible to assign one release strategy. After this assigned release prerequisites and release status. Now go to classification, here we can assign characteristics, plant and purchasing group. Come back and save. These details are not transported, only by manual entries in every system like quality and production. Now go to simulation here we can check our release strategy. Now, go to purchase requisition document types. Here select our document type. Actually, I am using standard type NB only. Here and check the overall release indicator. It is very important. Because now we configure the item level release procedure. Now assign objects to classes. Go to Transaction Code CL20N. Here enter the release group and release strategy. Though, System shows the classification status in green. The configuration part is over.
Now create the purchase requisition. The transaction code ME51N. Enter material details plant and purchase group. Now, the system shows the release strategies and item details. Why because? We configured an item level release. For testing purposes, I have changed the purchase group. Immediately the release strategy disappeared. Now I add one more line item. Then only we can easily realize the item. Level release configuration. Save the document. Now. Go to transaction code ME54N for releasing the purchase requisition. Here, elect the status tab. The system shows in release. Go to the release strategy tab and execute the release process. Now the first line item is released. Select a second line item, and release it the same way. Now go to the status tab. It shows, release completed, and the release indicator, ID and color also changed from XTOR. Save the document. Now, header level, release configuration. Now, go to purchase requisition document types. Here select our document type, and enable the tick mark for the overall release. Save and. Come back to release the group. Here also enable the tick mark for the overall release. Save the configuration. Now create the purchase requisition, the transaction code ME51N, enter material details plant and purchase group. Now, the system shows the release strategies at the header level. Why because? We configured a header. Level release. Now I add one more line item. Save the document. Now, go to transaction code ME54N for releasing the purchase requisition. Here, elect the status tab. The system shows in release. Go to the release strategy tab and execute the release process. Now go to the status tab. It shows release completed 